Welcome back to Purple Collar Leaf. We've got some more tractor work today with the John Deere 2210. I want to get some of that dirt pile moved into the hole that's right behind the camera. Now I got one hole filled in yesterday. I've got two holes left to fill in today after our septic tank problem. So we've now got that nice riser on the tank and we'll be ready to cover this all up. Now I'm going to have to do a little bit of different grading than there was before. I only gave myself six inches between the lid and the grass and there's a little bit of a downhill slope. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So here you can see is the lid on top of the collars that were added. So we didn't have to dig down four feet the next time we're looking for that lid. On the high side, I've got probably six to eight inches of ground above that lid, but this comes down at a slope across here. So I'm a little bit worried that I won't have enough grass on top of the lid on this side, you know, 25 inches downhill from the first edge of the lid. So I'm gonna kind of build this up a little bit higher than it had been before. I'll slope it more after the lid and I'll the same thing coming this way. I'll come out straight and then slope it more after the lid. It is a warm one out today. I could probably actually take the doors off of the tractor, but we don't have a whole lot of time. I have some dirt to move here. It's an after work night, so you know, I wasn't done working until five. So we've got a couple hours of sunlight, but I want to get that smoothed over with topsoil on the top and plant some grass seed, hopefully, because we do have rain coming tomorrow afternoon or evening. definitely no way that I could have accomplished this task without the John Deere 2210 or a front end loader of some type. And I am definitely not a dirt moving professional. I have not had to move much dirt since I've owned the tractor in the last 10 or 15 years. Now I wish that I had owned this tractor when I was first building the house, I would have had a lot of use for it. But at the time, I didn't have enough money to have a subcompact tractor with a front end loader. I'm pretty good at filling in dirt into a hole on a flat surface. It's a little bit more difficult when I'm working with a grade or trying to create a grade. It's a full scoop right there. The little John Deere 2210 definitely scoops more dirt than you would think it would. have to always be thinking cognizant of the ballast situation. I have a ballast box on the back here. It is full of sand. And also your uh, environment that you're working in. I'm not on the most level ground. So I take it nice and slow, leave the load low. towards me first so that I can start driving on it some. Another good scoop here. In 
can go go slow and keep it low. Another really good big scoop. And then go nice and slow. We're not on level terrain here, so just keep it nice and steady going slow. Remember, I do want to get this built up a little bit, so I'm going to pause it a little bit here in front towards me. I'll drive over that. here at the back. Tip our bucket all the way back down on float. We get ourselves leveled out here a little bit. No sense in throwing this root down in. Okay. Big bunch of sod here, which is not what you want on the top. That's probably how it's going to end up. spot right there.
All I'm doing now is just trying to compact it a little bit. I know it's going to sink in over time. Just try to get as much of that done in advance before I put the topsoil on top. There's where the other pile was. You can see it's all gone. Everything is pushed in here now. I've packed it down as much as I can with the tractor. I left these markers here just so I can measure out from the house and different points. I know that three feet straight in front of where I left these flags and that uh, soil probe is exactly where the lid is. So I'll make a better map for the next time we have to dig it up. So what we're ready for now is topsoil. So that'll be our next video. Go ahead and call it a day for this video, but I'm gonna take the tractor down in the next video, get some fresh topsoil that we've saved in a couple piles along the driveway, and then try to spread that out here on top of this before we seed it. If you found this video informative or entertaining, we'd really appreciate it if you give us a thumbs up. Leave comments down below. I don't mind constructive criticism. Go ahead and tell me what I could have done better to get this smoothed out a little bit better. I think with the topsoil I'll do better because I'll probably just pour it in a couple piles and then use a garden rake to smooth things over and level it out. But there's probably a better way to get this a little bit more level on a downhill grade than what I was able to do with the tractor. So leave those comments down below uh, for, for myself and anybody else watching the video. What are some better ways? I tried to use the float backing up every time on the dirt. I did use the downward pressure to get it to pack in a little bit. And then as you can see, I drove over it quite a bit. But I've got a couple spots where it's a little lower. I've got some of these rocks that have worked their way to the top. I'm just gonna take them out. And then I've got some spots where I can tell, you know, with a little bit more travel over it, it's gonna sink in. And I already can tell looking at this with my eyes uh, at mowing, um, on the zero turn, this is going to be a rough ride unless I get it really smoothed out with the topsoil before I seed it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again the next time.